This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our March 14th Palmer City Council meeting. So at the beginning we've got some committee appointments for the Airport Advisory Committee and approval of the minutes for the last meeting. Uh, under communications and appearances we have uh, Polly Beth Odom, the Executive Director for Daybreak Incorporated, coming to report on the Palmer Resource Day that we had uh, a month or so ago. And then a proclamation for Sharing and Caring Day with uh, Rabbi Mindy Greenberg. We've also got a public hearing for a resolution for a budget amendment, essentially. It's a normal budget amendment we do that the money from last year has to be officially incorporated into this year. And uh, it keeps everything nice and straight and keeps our finance people happy who keep our auditors happy. And that's a good thing. Then we've got a couple of uh, community grant requests um, that the council will discuss and uh, consider and vote on. And then there's a garden services contract. That's for the garden next to our visitor information center that's kind of our hidden gem in the middle of the city that visitors and residents alike really enjoy. And also for the Palmer Public Library. Uh, we've gotten a report in from, uh, it's the Palmer Public Library Roof Collapse Structural Observation Report, February 28, 2023, from PND. Um, it should be included in, a, in its entirety in the manager's report, which is in this packet. Uh, essentially, the bottom line, um, or the last paragraph of the report, talks about this. This classifies the roof damage as substantial structural damage per international existing building code. And it's always good when those professionals and engineers can go and clarify things with very specific languages, tell us what we kind of already knew. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back on the insurance company and what, what all those matters include. And we're still proceeding forward. Uh, the city's in the middle of leasing a small space that'll be about a quarter of the size of the library uh, that'll kind of give us a storefront that we can have for library services, for staff to work out of, that we can have some of our essential services, whether it's computers, checking out of books, um, you know, doing loan transfers from other libraries, etc. But um, we'll also have to store a lot of books while we deal with the building, which is going to take some months, I am sure. Um, you know, but the next step is to try to recover what we can out of our our old building and that's going to take a lot of triage of figuring out which books are worth saving and which books need repair and all the rest but you know I know that the people of Palmer will come together and overcome this disaster that's happened to our library and you know really work together to end up with the library that will be a great resource for our community. <laughs>